Hello and welcome to another update video about Render. So Render seems to be currently following this, this wave count here. We've been talking about um, this upcoming C wave um, and uh, it seems like it's currently losing losing a little bit of support there. Um, you, obviously this is still the, so let me check that channel trend line out. We don't need that anymore. That was relevant for this ascending broadening wedge that we tracked, which then broke to the downside, but um, this is gone. So however here, um, yeah, it, it seems like it's losing a little bit of support. I mean, it was possible to draw a trend line here um, and uh, this is broken. So from that point of view, we talked about um, C wave incoming. Yeah, if it gets into this region or if it pulls down from here, if it pulls back from here, an ideal target would be between 191 and 228. We've got three levels here. We've got the 50% retracement at yeah 228 and we've got the 61.8 retracement at $2.13 and the 78.6 at $1.91. Um, it would give additional evidence that we are coming down if price breaks below 241, this B wave low, that would actually be the confirmation we are coming down because until then, theoretically, this could just be a, um, yeah, a small impulse to the upside, which I'm currently counting as a C wave, and then just a pullback, which would give consideration for a larger move up, um, but it would literally need to turn around now um, obviously the break of the trend line already gives some initial signals that a pullback into the support range is um, at least likely and if it comes down into this area then we have here the chance of finding support and would potentially um, provide a decent reward to risk ratio so I'm considering this entire move up as part of a wave four, of, uh, sorry, part of a wave five of a leading diagonal, which I count a wave one. And in this wave five, we've got here this as an A wave, this now as a B wave to the downside, which consists of, yeah, not like that, which consists of an A wave down, a B wave up and a C wave down. And that would then be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave later to complete this fifth wave. Con Condition is that the 191 level is holding. Um, that is generally the larger bullish support. Um, so yeah, going back close to that bullish support will provide some favorable reward to risk uh, ratios. Now, th I think that's sort of what's going on here at the moment. And if we were to draw a little bit of a subwave structure count, I mean, um, I'm just considering actually could it be a W, X, Y structure? Maybe rather that. Um, does it make a difference? Not that much at the moment. I think it, because of the choppiness, this might be the way to go. W, X, Y. Um, and then in here, we're looking at an A wave, a B wave, and a possible C wave down. Oops, didn't want to move that, which then again, but this is just an idea, right? I mean, this is not not a highly probable count or anything, that, especially not the, the sub waves, okay? By looking then at um, possibly here, a wave one, a wave two, now maybe a third wave down, a fourth and a fifth, just to give you a bit of a roadmap there um, to head further down, okay? Um, I mean, other interpretations are possible here, you know, possible that the, you know, this is a WXY in itself or, but um, for now, you know, you could say as long as this um, wave two high is in place at 281, the focus could be down against that, okay? Um, that gives you a relevant resistance or invalidation point and to the downside, 191 should be holding or we need to think about something more bearish. And um, yeah, looking at the indicators, so the relevant one is of course the, the daily. Um, here we're losing, uh, losing positive momentum. We have quite a large um, bearish engulfing candle now. Now the daily candle isn't closed yet, but we're losing negative momentum. No, we're losing positive momentum. Um, we saw already in previous videos here the bearish divergences. So it will be interesting to see if we really get into this orange area. That's at least what I would be tracking. And if we then find a support level there, that will certainly be the next decision point in my opinion down there. Obviously there is going to be, you know, this is not going to happen in a straight line, is it? Ideally not. 
there will be sort of minor support along the way like here 241 a break below the b wave low is always a good consideration a good indication that this is indeed a breakdown um and then there will be probably some smaller support around 233 and then here anyway 2 228 is the previous wave for low and the 50 percent retracement yeah that's my update about render i hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye